I'm going to give a brief overview of Blue Origin's new Glenn orbital launch vehicle. Blue Origin has been quietly working towards becoming a viable aerospace manufacturer and space flight services company since its founding in September 2000. They hope to launch their first space tourists in April 2019 on the suborbital rocket New Shepard. But even if they achieve that, they have a lot of work to do to become a major player in the future space economy. Truth of the matter is, they have yet to achieve orbital spaceflight and are not capable of launching anything or anyone into orbit or beyond. That is why the completion of Blue Origin's New Glenn launch vehicle in 2020 will be a huge turning point for them. How will the New Glenn rocket allow Blue Origin to compete in the future space economy? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you so you don't have to. If you're new to my channel, I cover topics such as space exploration, robotics, and all things future. So if you want to know how cool life will be like in the future, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out. Alright, before we get started, let's quickly talk about the man who this rocket is named after, the great John Glenn. John Glenn lived one of the most interesting lives in contemporary history. History. He was a Marine Corps fighter pilot during World War II and the Korean War where he shot down three enemy aircraft and was awarded six distinguished flying crosses and 18 air medals. He then became a test pilot and made the first supersonic transcontinental flight across the United States. Then in 1959, he was selected to be one of the Mercury 7, NASA's first astronauts. Then he was the third American, fifth person to go to space and was the first American to orbit the Earth in 1962. After his career with NASA, he served in Congress as a Senator for Ohio from 1974 to 1999. On top of everything, in 1998, at the age of 77, he became the oldest person to go to space as part of the crew of the Discovery Space Shuttle. So I think it's great for Blue Origin to honor John Glenn with their first orbital launch vehicle, the New Glenn. Development of the New Glenn began began prior to 2012, but was officially announced in September 2016. The new Glenn will have two variations. It will either be two or three stages, depending on mission needs. It will be massive, with a diameter of 7 meters or 23 feet, standing 86 meters tall or 283 feet as the two-stage variant, and 99 meters tall or 326 feet as the three-stage variant. The new Glenn will have a payload capacity of 45,000 kilograms or 99,000 pounds to low Earth orbit. The first stage will be reusable and designed to be used for 100 missions. It will consist of seven reusable BE-4 engines and the first stage will generate 1.7 million kilograms or 3.8 million pounds of thrust. I made a video about Blue Origin's BE-4 engine, so if you want to learn more about that, click on the notification card on the top of the screen. Alright, so the second stage will consist of a single enhanced version of the BE-4 engine that is capable of reigniting and is optimized for space. And the third stage uses a single BE-3 engine which is much smaller than the BE-4 engine and is currently used on the New Shepard. New Glenn will also have a 7 meter fairing which will allow it to carry more than twice the volume payload compared to any other 5 meter rocket. The new Glenn will be produced in a brand new factory being built on Merritt Island near Spaceport Florida Launch Complex 36 where the new Glenn will launch from. The factory is almost complete and should be ready for occupancy in January 2018 and will be state of the art. It will have the largest carbon automated fiber placement machine in the world which manufactures composite materials and it will have the largest autoclave in the world. An autoclave is a pressure chamber used to carry out industrial processes. The factory will mainly be used to produce New Glenn's second and third stages because Blue Origin plans to build very few first stage boosters because they'll be able to be used up to 100 times. In addition to the new factory on Merritt Island, Blue Origin is constructing a new 150,000 square foot integration facility at Launch Complex 36. The integration facility is where the completed rocket stages will be assembled and put together. After each launch, the first stage boosters will land on a ship in the Atlantic Ocean, which will return to Port Canal for refurbishment and reuse. Blue Origin has purchased or is very close to finalizing the purchase of a large ship that will be used for New Glenn booster landings and the ship in question is expected to arrive in Port Canaveral before the end of the year. So there you have it, Blue Origin is moving full steam ahead. 
with Bezos financing the company at a rate of $1 billion per year. They're building factories, and they're building integration facilities, and purchasing landing ships. And I can't wait to see Blue Origin's progress with New Glenn's development, and I truly hope they can meet their projected first launch in 2020. And I'll be covering each and every major step along the way. But I want to hear from you. Do you think the New Glenn rocket will help Blue Origin be competitive in the space economy? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're interested in space exploration, robotics, and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe, and this is the end of our journey.